When I'm looking at you from this angle, all you see is eyelashes. Hello. Hey guys, what's up? It's Momo, aka the Booktube Girl, and welcome to day two of the final Bibliothon. promising myself that I'm not going to cry too much this week, but I might shed a few tears, okay? I know for all of the host videos this week, we're all gonna be so sad because this readathon is such a huge part of our lives and it has been for the past five years and it's so sad to see it go, but we're so excited to be sharing this final round with you guys and we can't wait to see what you guys create and how you get involved. So if you missed the memo yesterday, we are only recycling our old video challenge ideas. So that basically means that for all nine days of this bibliothon, we are only using our past video challenges just to really amp up that nostalgia. So for day two of the final bibliothon, my challenge is the primetime TV show challenge. Now this challenge is very, very special to me because I first participated in it back in 2015 when it was Selena's challenge and I actually won this challenge before I was a host of the bibliothon. And I think I joined the next round, but I just had so much fun with my video from back then. It's still one of my favorite videos that I've ever made on my channel and it's the Mortal Instruments meets Supernatural and I just love it so so much so it was really important to me that I host this day and I am just so so excited to share with you guys what I have. I do not think it's at the level of Mortal Instruments meets Supernatural because I don't have all my wigs and costuming like I usually would and that makes me a little bit sad but that's okay because I have a very ridiculous and fun video to share with you guys today. Number one is that you need to be at least 18 years of age to participate in this challenge or you're going to need your parents permission as we will be needing a postal address to send this book to you if you win. Number two is that all of our giveaways are international as long as book depository ships to your country. Number three is that you need to be subscribed to the YouTube channels of all of the Bibliothon hosts in order to be eligible to enter. Number four, you need to comment the link to your video entry on this host video by 12 a.m. PST. Now if you are watching this identical YouTube video on my personal YouTube channel, make sure to comment the link to your entry on the Bibliothon video, on the Bibliothon version of this video. Otherwise, your video entry might get lost and I like to have them all in one place. And number five is to have fun because this is it, guys. This is it. I am going to be giving away a copy of one of my favorite books from this year so far and that is The Truth About Keeping Secrets by Savannah Brown. This is definitely one that you guys are gonna wanna win. This challenge is all about combining TV and book material and creating something wonderful. So I decided to take the Mortal Instruments once again and mash it together with Gossip Girl. There are a lot of strange similarities between the Mortal Instruments and Gossip Girl. For one, they're both set in Manhattan. They have a group of like these elite individuals that are seen as upper class. And the more I got into it, the more it just blew my mind. So before you watch this video challenge, just a quick disclaimer. If you've never seen Gossip Girl, it might be a bit much for you and you're not gonna get it. But if you haven't watched Gossip Girl before, it essentially follows this group of high school students from high school into their college years and they're all Upper East Siders in Manhattan and they're all very wealthy and they deal with these very trivial problems and it's just so entertaining. It had like a lot of seasons. I want to say like seven seasons. A lot of seasons and they all had like 25 episodes each and it's just absolutely addictive. It stars Blake Lively and it's just a lot of fun. <laughs> and basically there's kind of like this website that texts everyone updates on all of these students students' lives and she is called Gossip Girl. No one knows who she is or how she knows what they're doing all the time. They just know that she's gonna update them and all of the latest goss. And Gossip Girl uses a lot of puns and really cringy 2000s Valley Girl language. I put it together with Jace Wyland. This is what happens. <sighs> Jace, come over here. She's doing it again. Who? You know who. All that struggle to get a ticket into the elite shadow world and he's still nowhere close to winning C's heart? Who writes this stuff? Spotted. Jace Wayland. Watch out, Isabel Lightwood. Jace is back in town and it looks like his hairstylist is even better than yours. <laughs> Shh. 
Shadow Hunter here, your one and only undercover source into the world of Manhattan's Nephilim elite. Uh oh, it looks like Clary Frey is struggling in that new Shadow Hunter getup. I guess the local Brooklynites aren't used to leather boots and blades of pure Adamas. Better jump on the subway and head back home, see? Here on the Upper East Side, we're only riding demon energy powered motorcycles in the sky, and we'd like to arrive in style. I mean, nice outfit. It's good. Yeah, I, I can't talk now, sorry. Sebastian Morgenstern has always had his heart set on the crown and the crown only. But there's one thing standing in the way that none of us ever expected. His sister. Spotted. It's February 14th and it looks like Jocelyn Fairchild and Luke Greymark are caught in a lover's quarrel. Careful Luke, you may have brought the roses, but who will be Jocelyn's valentine? This just in. Could J and C be related? I hope you guys have other plans for the holiday season because this Thanksgiving dinner could get awkward. Word on the street is that Simon Lewis got himself turned into a vampire. All that struggle to get a ticket into the elite shadow world and he's still nowhere close to winning C's heart. Keep the blood bags close, Simon, because this is going to suck. Words out that our little shadow hunters enjoyed themselves in the fairy realms. Maybe a little too much. Hope you cancelled those dinner reservations, Simon Lewis, because Clary Frey has definitely chosen the kiss she most desires, even if she breaks the law to get it. It's every girl's dream to have the perfect sweet 16. A greenhouse at midnight? A gorgeous boy? What could go wrong? But no one told C that you could only have one boy in your room at a time. Sorry, lonely boy, the clock struck midnight and you weren't the prince to rescue her. She looks like someone whose phone number should be on a bathroom wall. Could Magnus's immortality be on the line? Rumor has it that Alec and Camille have been conspiring to rob Magnus of his eternal youth. Next time your boyfriend says he wants to spend more time together, run in the other direction. Jace is struggling with daddy issues, and not for the first time. Has Valentine let him down again? Keep your eyes peeled, little Jay. It looks like you have more to worry about than what name gets written on your Starbucks cup. Spotted on the steps of the Institute, Jace and Simon in a power struggle for C's heart. Thank you, or for saving Simon. Thought Edom would stop me updating you on the latest goss? You're wrong. Looks like J and C are getting hot and heavy in the demon realms. You think demons are their biggest concern? Wrong again. Stay safe, shadow hunters, and I'm not referring to using your weaponry. If you wanted me to take my clothes off, you should have just asked. Uh, the crew may be back in town, but why'd they leave? Why'd they return? Send me all the deets. And who am I? That's a secret I'll never tell. XOXO, Shadow Hunter. What if I accidentally talk like this for the rest of the day? <sighs> Featuring a lot of Gossip Girl impersonations. I'm Chuck Bass. But I am Chuck Bass. <laughs> I look forward to never seeing you again. Don't ever go to high school, Dorota. The girls are spoiled, stupid, and ungrateful. Don't ever go to high school, Dorota. The girls are stupid and ungrateful. No, don't feel bad. Like, it's her fault for getting things started with you in the first place. My name is Serena Vanderwoodson. I just don't know if I can go through with it. I don't really want to go to Brown. There's just so many guys after me. I've got to be there for Blair. I think I just lost several brain cells filming this video. <laughs> cringy, okay? But wasn't it a little bit wonderful? I hope you guys enjoyed my video for today and I cannot wait to see what you guys are going to come up with. So make sure to comment those entries in the comments below because I cannot wait to go through them and see who is going to win an amazing book. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today and we will see you for the next day of the Bibliothon tomorrow. Bye!